Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarikin. Welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So the new update has finally arrived and we have some new additions. So as you can see, the carrots look different. The carrots too, the cooked carrots are different. We have this different bottle with gasoline and the bottle of water is also a little bit different. So we have four new icons. And uh, also we are gonna get two events during March. So we're gonna have this Leprechauns event that'll start on March 17th. Here we'll be able to get two purple cards. We'll be able to get this broken slash machine that apparently you'll be able to collect here some sort of rewards every day, I guess. Maybe we'll have to wait and see what that thing does. And that's not it. We're gonna have the Easter bunny something event. So I have this tab open over here. So from March 17th to March 22nd, you'll be able to do this Leprechauns lock event. But then we'll have the Easter egg event, the follow the Easter bunny event will take place from March 29th to April 3rd. So tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we should be able to begin this event. It looks like we'll be able to get caps, at least by the description here, and uh, we'll be able to spin those caps at this last machine. So that's not the most exciting event, but again, we have to wait till tomorrow and we'll see. Maybe the events where you obtain those caps are gonna be kind of fun. And you know what? Caps can always give like kind of free loot. Maybe you'll be able to get your ATV transmissions for your ATV. So that's kind of awesome. And another addition that was added is this gunsmith bench is twice smaller. So it used to be two by two, but now it's one by two. So it takes a little bit less space in your base. And other than that, I think most of the things are still kind of the same. There's also one glitch maybe or not. Let's say you are crafting your first aid kits. Let's say you crafted one first aid kit, then you close the menu, you open it up and it goes back to the top. So you'll have to again, find your first aid kits. So there's that your crafting menu doesn't save. And I think those are all the changes in today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally th the time for us to go and clear the laboratory again because I haven't cleared the lab in a very long time and we still have this port laboratory event for the next six hours. So let's just do it. And tomorrow we'll have this uh, Leprechaun's Lock event. But before we do any of that, you already know what we gotta do. We gotta go and take care of our settlement. So let's hop uh, here. All right, let's go to the settlement. Let's get a little bit of pine beams. Let's get some iron. Let's get some ash trees. Let's get some charcoal. And yeah, let's work on the base because that's basically what we do right now. I'm trying to work as much as I can on the base. As much as I reasonably can, right? Oh, we can upgrade another rack, ladies and gentlemen. That's Pog. That is awesome. VAP repair bench is different to VAP repair bench. I haven't been at the VAP for a very long time. So I haven't seen it. But okay, maybe they did change the VAP bench as well. So we'll have to go to the... VAP one day when we get it to check it out. So once again, welcome to all of those that have just joined to the stream. I'm glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hopefully you're having a great day. And to those that are watching the live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate uh, to whatever parts of the live stream a bit quicker using those timestamps. And we are going to quickly drop the water, the other stuff. We're going to go to the settlement and then the laboratory event, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do that laboratory event because I haven't done it in many moons. Let's just leave it at that. It's been many moons since I've done that laboratory event. I'll probably try to take melee weapons. I'll try to clear it efficiently. At least the first A1 and A2 floors if I don't get any like melee debuffs. If I get like some sort of melee debuffs, then probably I'm not going to bother. Now let's go to the settlement. Beep. Let's teleport to the settlement. When is the event coming? Tomorrow. The event is going to start tomorrow. I think in a couple of uh, hours-ish. I have no idea. I'd say in five hours, probably, maybe. I think it depends on your time zone, but maybe it'll start in about five hours for me. I have no idea. Is this thing different now? I'm pretty sure this uh, broaching machine is still the same. Felt like it's different, but it is the same. Okay, let's get some more iron billets. What happened to 84 years, says LDO Pro. What, 84 years? What happened to it? to it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Did I stop using 84 years? I don't know. We gotta come up with different words. Gotta come up with different things to say. Let's drop a little bit of charcoal. Let's get the daily rewards. If I can't even get them, chances are that thing isn't even reset yet. Do you have any expectations for the update? Uh, the helicopter, submarine, bunker Charlie, the assault armor, all of the expectations. How many expectations do you have, Cyric? All of it. 
Let's say those are my expectations. I have all of the expectations. We'll come up with a new word in 84 years, says LDOU Pro. That's about right. It took us 84 years to come up with 84 years, and it'll take us extra 84 years to come up with something else. Now, let's go to the laboratory right now, or do we go to the swamp to get some ash trees? Maybe let's get those ash trees a little bit later after the laboratory, right? Let's start the laboratory now. So we're going to try to do it uh, with melee weapons, I guess. Why wouldn't we do it with melee weapons? Let's get machetes, because I like those machetes. We have a bunch of katanas as well. Katanas are also decent, but hey, we got machetes. Let's get a couple of machetes. Let's get a couple of saw blade maces. Let's get a couple of guns. Three saw blade maces. Do I really need that many of them? Let's get two only. I think two should be enough. There's no way I'll be able to break it. Thanks for fixing the volume. I don't need to connect the speakers anymore. Thanks. Uh, thank you for letting me know that the volume was bad. Thank you very much. Uh, let's get a couple of spread shots. A couple of Glocks. Okay, let's get another set of armor. Hey, Sark, is it worth playing Last on Earth in 2024? Uh, it's up to you, I guess. If you want to play, you can play it. If you're still enjoying it, if you feel like you can still enjoy it, then you, sh you can play it. I can't really say anything about the crater. I mean, if you want to play in the crater, you can play in the crater. I'm not too excited about the crater. The crater's pretty bad. Uh, let's get these. Gonna upgrade the guns. Dude, I'm so glad that I moved my gunsmith bench down here. It's so much faster to upgrade my guns. PvP is trash. PvP is absolutely trash. So yeah, I, I'd probably say that you're not gonna have a great time in the crater. Unless you will. Then hey, enjoy the crater. I have nothing against that crater. Uh, let's get some juicy steaks or something. I'll get some carrots. Is there anything else that I need to bring with me? I think that's about it. If I'll need anything else, I'll come back and I'll get it. For now, that's fine. That's my first trip. And let's go. We got some healing items. We have other stuff. Let's sit on the chopper and let's... Oh, no. The chopper's full of guns and they're not modded. Um, I'm gonna drop the armor set. And the healing items. Alright. And let's drop the healing items. So these... Two rows of guns that I have... Will be dumped somewhere. Uh, what's new? What is the newest update that we get soon? Tomorrow we're gonna have the Leprechauns event. We'll be able to spin caps. <laughs> we'll be able to spin caps tomorrow. Oh boy, I'm excited! And uh, we've also gotten some new icons. The carrots look different. Water and gasoline bottles look different. Oh my goodness, like nothing fits. Are you, you gotta be kidding me. Where did I... S how? Okay, let's drop one more Glock and like whatever chest here then. Nope, it does not fit. No, yesterday I dropped some guns in, like, some sort of a chest. Not this chest. What chest did I drop those guns in? Um, no. Oh, with the aluminum chest, probably. Here, there we go. That's where I stored some guns. So let's store some of the broken ones here. Let's get the rest of the stuff from the chopper, and let's get rolling. Well, well huge update. We can spin caps. Maybe there will be more things. They say that you'll have to, like, chase some sort of rainbows. So maybe you'll be able to get caps from those rainbows. And, uh... You'll be able to spin those caps later. So it is what it is. Maybe we'll be able to get some epic loot. Seaweed. Oh, we also need to get seaweed. Thanks, Ramen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I would have definitely forgotten the seaweed. So yeah, as you can see, guys, the carrots look different. Smash like, smash subscribe. If you like the new carrots, I guess they're cool. Maybe the cool isn't the right word, but they look fine. Is ATV worth it? Depends. If it'll give you happiness, then yes, it's worth it. If it won't give you happiness, then it's not worth it, I guess. Because life is all about happiness. If something doesn't give you happiness, then maybe it's not worth it. There are probably exceptions. 
can always find exceptions. Oh, plus we can do a raid. Whatever, let's do that raid after we are done with the laboratory. So we're going to do the lab, we're going to do the raid, and then perhaps we'll go to the swamp and we'll get some ash trees there. We have new carrots. Never new, says Jayla. We do have new carrots. Look at this. They look different. Can we zoom in? You can kind of see them on the side here. The new carrots look sick, and you know it. Everybody know, know this. You definitely can't enjoy the game without some microtransactions, says God's Battle. I would disagree. You can enjoy this game plenty without microtransactions. If you don't want your ATV, which is useless. Like, a lot of the things that you can buy in the game, which is sad. I don't actually don't know if that's good or bad. But the most of the things that you buy in the store are terrible. Like, there's nothing you can buy. Like, you can buy ATV transmissions. Sure, ATV is useless. So, there's that. But hey, ladies and gents, now let's start the laboratory. So, for those that don't know, you'll have to clear the laboratory in order to... ...get your drone. Check the janitor. I'll have to check that dude. Yes, indeed. We'll try to check that dude. But hey, before we do it... I want to check this place out. Do we have any thing yet? Yeah, we have a stack of seaweed. Let's get that seaweed. Let's dump it here. And let's talk to the janitor. Um, we couldn't get this neutralizer. Okay, so I don't really want to get it right now because my inventory is already kind of full and cluttered, so I don't want to buy it, but... I'll get that neutralizer once we are done clearing the floors. So, hey, let's start the second floor. I just started making cement for the lighthouse. It's very annoying. I wish it was in our base. Absolutely. Everybody who's made cement in this game, they all wished it was at our base. Absolutely. See what kind of park do we have? No parks. So do we just clear this place with no parks and that's it? Maybe. Uh, new types of enemies, enemies, enemies attack, and enemies take 50% less damage from melee weapons. So that's fine. At least we'll be able to clear. Enemies attacks restore 10 to 25 of their health points. Okay. So B1 sector is going to be kind of annoying and B2 sector is also going to be annoying. But the A1 and A2 sectors are doable. I think we're just going to begin. Because I got nothing to skip here anyways. Immunity to stun effects. This thing is kind of good. This is a nice park. I'm going to get it. I'll get this. And let's see, ladies and gentlemen. So there might be the spitter. We got to get ready for the spitter. Let's get this Glock. Is that the spitter? No, this is not the spitter. And we have the immunity to stun effects. So we can just enjoy it, I guess. The dude isn't going to stun me. The immunity to stun effects is insane. It's actually huge. Okay, we could wall trick this guy here if it's going to work. Nope. Of course it's not going to work. Why would it work? Why would that make my life easier? Um, anything else? Nope. Okay, so we might have the spitting guy here. The acid melter. Okay, the dude is here then. Okay, let's come a little bit closer. Okay, I'm just... I was able to dodge that at least. There we go, we got it. Let's get another A card. Plus we have something here. When does the Europe get the update? The update is already out. I mean, so far there's nothing new here. The Leprechaun's event... The Leprechaun's Lock event starts tomorrow. So nobody's gotten the... The real update. Like, everybody's already updated the game. Like, you can update the game now, I guess. But the update isn't... The new event isn't there yet. Okay. So here we might have that spitter, and that's not going to be that cool. I do not like it. Okay, we do not have a spitter there. 
I'm going to get my weapons. I want to see if it'll be possible to wall trick them here if I hide. Nope. Well, like, at least I can get these spore runners. Oh, Lord, this dude. I'm just going to soak up that damage. It's fine. There we go. We got that. We did get a little bit of damage, but that's all right. Okay, so my inventory is full. I cannot take the factory parts. I'll come back and get those factory parts later. A little bit later. Uh, let's get a bandage. Uh, this... What else do we need? Nothing. Let's get ready to clear here this other room. Wait, can I attack this... Sneak attack the Spore Runner? I'm not really sure. I don't want to aggro too many zombies because there's that spitter. Maybe I can sneak attack the Spore Runner. Yes, I was able to attack the Spore Runner. Now there has to be the Shambler. Okay, let's get that Shambler some house away. Yo, some guy. Thanks for being a member. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for making entertaining videos and live streams. Keep up with them. And remember to keep your batteries in your fridge, says some guy. Thanks for being here. It's not an advice. Maybe, guys, you shouldn't keep batteries in your fridge. We've done some Googling once and... It said that you shouldn't keep your batteries in the freezers or fridges. But uh, you do you. Okay, there's the shambler. Now we can deal with the shambler. We can wall trick this guy. We have a nice machete. So there's a very huge delay when he attacks. There we go. We got that Shambler. Sick. We absolutely destroyed the Shambler. Um, I hope they add the go further option in various locations. Instead of going out of the map to refresh it. More further, more dangerous locations. But the loot gets better too. I'm a little bit confused. But whatever new updates. Uh, we'd get it. Be happy with them. I guess. I could have probably sneaked attack some of those guys, but I, I, I'm i almost certain that there is this acid melter. I'm going to just shoot this acid melter with the Glock so that it's a lot, a lot faster. I just want to deal with this dude. There we go. Acid melter is dead. Now we can get both of these screamers. Can I hide here? Okay, there we go. That works. So we can now deal with these screamers. And Jayla, thanks for being a member for 40 months. Thanks for being here. Science always proves that putting batteries... In the fridge works. No, it doesn't work. There's no way that works. Chad GPT would have lied to us. Wait, I need to open up Chad GPT. Chad GPT, uh, can you... Uh, can you store batteries in the fridge? Give a short explanation. Storing batteries in the fridge isn't recommended. Cold temperatures can affect battery performance and potentially reduce their lifespan. Batteries should be stored in cool, dry place at room temperature for optimal performance and longevity. Refrigeration can cause condensation inside the battery, leading the, to corrosion and reduced effectiveness. But what if I'm already storing a lot of batteries in the fridge? Fridge, are you gonna stop me? <laughs> As an AI, I can physically stop you from storing batteries in the fridge, but I can advise against it for optimal battery performance and longevity. If you're already doing so, it's worth considering relocating them to a cool, dry place at room temperature to preserve their effectiveness. That's about it. Chad GPT does not want you to store batteries in the fridge. I think that answers the question. They're lying to you. Who are they? Hey, I have my tinfoil hat. The immunity stun effects is actually very decent. It's a very nice buff. 
poor screamer punching walls for five minutes. Stupid screamers. Thoughts on the new update? The best update ever. We have new carrots. Like, what else would a person need? Finally, we got him. Blazing gins. We got him. Now, let's get some factory parts. Chad GPT doesn't know how to lie. Yep. See how they run different? I didn't see that they run different. Okay, so I do want to loot this room. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of there. Stop it, schmuck. Okay, we're gonna deal with the scientist real quick. I'll get this guy and every... Every attack start moving or you will be in trouble. Because it'll be very difficult to dodge that spit if you do not move. Attack and move, attack and move. And then you should be able to dodge those spits. Can't believe that I've already lost this much armor. Like, how did I lose this amount of armor? That's beyond me. How did you get so many resources? Played this game for six years. I've abandoned all of my friends, all of my loved ones. I do not have a social life. I just play last in Earth survival. And if you want to get that much loot, consider dumping all of your friends as well. Don't have a social life. Just play last in Earth survival. And you will be rich. In the game. Welcome. Oh no, oh no, oh no! This room is gonna be difficult because it has new types of zombies and there's that... Uh, oh my goodness, stupid papers! They stopped me! If it, was, if it weren't for those papers, everything would have been much better. And yeah, of course, my armor is broken. Stupid acid melter spat twice. Unbelievable. Can I at least... Oh my goodness. Stupid. So stupid. Okay, let's get the slasher real quick. Last dinner, 24 hours straight. Yes, indeed. Smash like, smash subscribe for the 24 hour last dinner live stream. When the helicopter comes out and if they add enough content to do a 24 hour live stream, then perhaps we'll do it. You see the run? Nope. I didn't pay attention to them run. I'll need to pay attention. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go here. Do not want to get that poison damage, even though it's not that big of a deal. I'm probably going to get here another gl- That one will break. Let's break this glug just so that we have more space. Will I be able to sneak attack any of them? Okay, these are just spore runners. And these spore runners will just lay down. Oh, yeah, they, they'll stand up. That's not cool. There's that spore spreader. Let's try to destroy the awakener first. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mistakes were made. Let's try to shoot this awakener. Spread shot. Uh, are they down? I have no idea what's going on. This is terrible. This is horrible. I'm glad that I have that immunity to stun. Let's shoot that Awakener. There we go. Awakener is dead. And now I should be able to kill these zombies. There are a lot of them. We could wall trick some of them. Probably here. If that works, that works. Ladies and gentlemen. How am I getting damage? Who's damaging me? Oh, this dude. Okay, let's deal with the support runner. And now let's try to wall trick them because they now should die peacefully. So yeah, this debuff that spawns new types of enemies on the first floor is kind of annoying. Oh my goodness, I can't. Okay, now here I'll have to get a little bit closer. Let's get another melee weapon. I definitely should have taken more melee weapons. They're eating up an insane amount of melee weapons. I brought here like with five machetes and all of them are almost gone already. We 
which is absolutely insane. Okay, let's get these things. So even if you can clear this place with melee weapons, right? You still have to have a lot of melee weapons to clear this place. Nuts. New accounts for free-to-play? This is already our free-to-play account. Welcome to our free-to-play account. How does someone airdrop more than once in a day? You just get an airdrop and you can get another one. I'm pretty- Can you get two airdrops per day? I think you can get three airdrops a day. You just get one airdrop, just keep playing the game. Keep being online, keep traveling around the map, and I think you can trigger another airdrop. I think that's how it works. Okay, let's get the shambler th uh, uh, then. If I had skull crushers or pipes, I'd be doing a lot less damage to the shambler. You have to have uh, sharp weapons. Like katanas, machetes, cleavers probably. Go here, let's get the Glock. Because there might be the Acid Melter and I do not like that. So we're gonna try to kill that Acid Melter ASAP. Oh my goodness, at least I was able to dodge that. Okay, I'm, I'm going back. I'm going back, I'm not taking the risk. I am not taking the risk of getting spat at. I do not want to lose my armor. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this dude to slow down and... Ah, I should have moved! Well, I'm glad that I was able to kill this dude, but I should have moved. That was a mistake. And this dude's gonna have the stupid spores, of course. Do you have tutorials on grinding the lab? We're kind of grinding the lab efficiently now. Kinda. When does it release the spores? When it attacks me or it releases the spores randomly? Confusion. Okay, I'm gonna hide here behind the wall. And I'll wait for the dude to come here and then I'll just... Beat it up. Just soak up the damage, it'll be probably faster. There we go, we were able to kill it. Now let's wait until these spores stop. And that was the first floor inhaler. Do I have an inhaler? I do not have any inhalers. Where is the scum new content? Hopefully there will be more scum survival content. I don't know when. I don't have the date. Do you think beginner will be able to do this uh, new update? I mean, we haven't even seen what is the new update about. You'll be able to spin caps and I think beginners... Oh my god, the nose is scratching. And I think beginners... will get the new update. I will be able to do the new update because you can spin caps, and I think beginners can spin caps. Okay, let's wait until this thing stops. I'll open the door. And all of them are gonna chase us. Cool. Oh my goodness. These are spore miners and the other spitter is still coming after me. No! Oh my goodness, of course, of course, you're gonna spit at me. Disgusting and disappointing. Okay, at least I dodged the other spit. Oh, that's alright. Let's get the machete and let's deal with this spore spreader. It's gonna spread the spores soon anyways. Let's run back. Actually, I'll need to pick up the cards here. Oh no, I'm getting damage from this side. That's not cool. Maybe inhalers would be cool. I don't have a single inhaler here yet. Are you planning on doing any surrounded content? I think I've done some surrounded videos already. But if you're asking if there will be more surrounded videos, perhaps. Also, do not go there because you'll get stuck. I know that from experience. So don't go there or you'll be stuck.
They're just trying to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. The car's 20 years old, what warranty? I never had any warranty. Okay, this room is gonna have those spitters! Sick. You can spit at me again. That was a poor move by me. I'm glad that it didn't spit though. Are you kidding me? Bruh, just moved. Okay, let's get out of there. Let's get another machete. And this armor is about to break. A waste of two sets on just one floor. Ridiculous. That's why it's extended. A <laughs> 20 year extended warranty. Hell yeah. Would you ever think about starting a new last on Earth account? I know you made several already. Yes. Immunity to all negative effects, but your body won't be saved after dying. Is it even worth it? What negative effects? Bleeding? Is all in perk worth it? I don't think so. If I die, I'll lose everything and I won't be able to watch an ad to get the things back. So let's not do it. So yeah, the all-in perk is a tempting perk, but I don't think it's that good. Uh, I'm gonna just get this. Let's confirm this. Yes, just don't die. Yes, just don't die! Thank you, guys. Very useful. I did not get that part, though. I was too scared to get it. Maybe I should have gotten it, and I should have gotten the... Whatever the thing is called. I don't remember. I need to go back to get more armor and more melee weapons. Like, I have only, what, two machetes, three machetes. Maybe I need another machete. I'm pretty sure there's the repair bench on the first floor. What about playing Frostborn? They always make new updates on the game. Frostborn is very amazing. And I will play it... Not during this lifetime. I'll get my melee weapons. Do I have any machetes in the inbox? If I do, I'll take them. I have a couple of katanas. If I don't have any machetes... Oh, I do have a lot of machetes. Let's take a few more machetes. Let's upgrade those machetes. We have saw blade maces, and I'm gonna get another set of armor, and that's it. You're fine, I can clear the whole lab with just one machete. Yep. I use my fists instead of machetes. Play Frostborn for the memes. I have played Frostborn for the memes a few times on the channel already. Will we play more Frostborn? Perhaps one day. Doubt it, though. The event is just the gold rush. It's the cap spinning event. I think that's the event. No joke, five bandages and one machete. It's all it takes, I believe. I absolutely believe you. Uh, let's get this and uh, let's start it. I should be able to sneak attack a zombie. I did take too many saw blade maces, shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's deal with the scientist. And I think we can wall trick now this guy. It's all about the wall tricking, ladies and gentlemen. The entire game is all about wall tricking. Whoops. And I wish there were more things in this game rather than wall trek. But it is all about wall tricking. Armor. I did get the armor. I'm gonna wait until this one breaks. Or I find a chest, then I'll be able to dump my old armor. Just to save three seconds of not deleting the armor. Last trick on earth. Yes, indeed. The wall trick. The last trick on earth. 
Okay, all of them saw me. Yikes. This'll be disgusting. I should get a shotgun or whatever, a Glock a shotgun. Okay, we're gonna kill that screamer with... with whatever. Now let's just deal with the toxic spewer. Stop spitting every 13 seconds and the dude's gonna restore all the health, won't it? Okay, my armor is dead. Try to get a machete. Gonna go back up. Will that work? Yep. Perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. The dude moved! Because I stayed there too long. And obviously this is not gonna work now. Because he's way too close. I'm just gonna kill it. Wall trick, schmall trick. Let's just kill all of them. <laughs> Blasting guns. Thanks for the tips and tricks, bro, says Jericho. Welcome to the stream, Jericho. I'm glad you're enjoying tips and tricks. Welcome, welcome. See how they run. I still didn't pay attention to how they run. I am a donut. Uh, there's the toxic spewer. I'm gonna get the Glock. And a s machete. I wanted to say spread shot. Let's get this. Okay, so the toxic spewer runs the same. Toxic spewer always ran like that. I'm almost certain it's the same. The groaner maybe is different? I never paid attention to the running animation before. At least these are just toxic spewers. They do not damage your armor. So those things are fine. Does the screamer run differently? Can you tell us about the new event I just joined? The cap spinning event, probably. Maybe there will be something else to it, but that's about it. We do not have the new event yet. It starts tomorrow. Have you ever played Rust? Yes, I have played it. If so, have you thought about revisiting? Yes. To both of those questions, the answer is yes. Maybe there will be more Rust someday in the future on the channel. I can't promise when. But maybe there will be. They're running like their pants are full of shit. <laughs> Didn't pay attention. I think they always ran like that. I don't think anything has changed. Abdi, the helicopter is here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, wake up. The helicopter has arrived. Okay, let's damage the scientist. The scientist is dead. Now let's deal with the Exploder and Jericho once again. Thanks for the super chat. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome to the stream. We need a ridiculous amount of melee weapons. Okay, the dude's gonna explode. And now let's deal with these parasites. I have no idea how much damage those parasites do. But I don't want to find out. Do we go deeper? Absolutely. Did the crash plane event got removed? No, no, it's still in the game. It's just that... That event is only available to new players. So... You can do that event twice. And once you're done with that event, that's it. It disappears forever. Okay, the Toxic Spewer is dead. And now let's kill the Screamer. Oh my goodness, I'm getting 20 damage because of that green goo. Whoa, how long? The thing's... Stayed there forever. Unbelievable. Have you played Prey Day? I think I've made a video on Prey Day, maybe. Like, many years ago. Like, probably five, six years ago. I think so. I don't think I've played it since.
Let's get one more card. The last on Earth new live action movie. One day. We will get the live action movie. Would you ever revisit Ark? Uh, sure. I wanted to play Ark Survival Ascended, but I'm very disappointed by the performance. They haven't done anything to Ark Survival Ascended since it came out. It's still the same kind of laggy mess. I'm surprised how people are playing it. Like, you need a ridiculous computer to be able to play that game with at least 60 FPS. Unless you reduce the settings. Like, you can put the game on low, everything on low. You can disable the clouds and other stuff. And then it's bearable. You can have, like, 60 FPS. But then the game looks worse than Ark Survival Evolved. I'd rather play Ark Survival Evolved at that point. So I kind of don't get it. A movie about how to grind planks to proceed in the settlement. Yup. That live-action movie will be all about chopping trees, deforestation, last dinner, the deforestation. The deforestation begins. Oh no, this room is gonna be so annoying. There will be a ridiculous amount of zombies. More zombies than... I need. I'm gonna hide here. Oh, of course, the toxic spewer is gonna see me. Why wouldn't it see me? I'm, I'm gonna pop that toxic spewer. The juggernaut is gonna be nuts. Why all of these zombies are so fast? Why do they have to be this fast? I need to run the other way, though. I want to run here. I don't want to go outside. Okay, they don't see me. Nice. Not nice. Get the stupid screamer. And now let's get the juggernaut. It's gonna probably take forever to get this guy because he has a lot of armor. We do only 13 damage, barely. And Jericho, thanks for another super chat. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Juggernaut attack speed and his armor is something else. He's starting to attack faster. Yes, indeed. I need to eat. And I still got damage. Yeah, the dude is insane. His damage kept going up. 23, 24, 25. No, it shouldn't have healed. I could have just used this thing. So yeah, the dude kept going faster and faster. It was pretty difficult to wall trick that guy. And his damage kept going up as well. Yes, indeed. That dude is pretty tricky. Too tricky for the... For the tricks. Oh my goodness. Another one of those juggernauts. I hate this dude. I'm just gonna get the groaner. Just a couple of shots. I think it'll be a lot easier to wall trick one guy. Okay, let's lure this guy up here. Okay, there we go. We can start wall tricking it. His attack speed will keep going up. But while it's slow, we can wall trick it at least. That's it. It went up. And it's barely possible to wall trick it. So I'm just going to get the Glock and I'll finish it off with the Glock. There we go. 
We did it, ladies and gentlemen. No, we did not do it yet. There are still more zombies. And as the spitter, I'm gonna use my Glock on it. I don't know why I've done that leg shot. He's avoiding questions, so he's definitely 5-3. I'm 4-3, thanks. Thanks for giving me an extra fortified. Let's hide here. There we go, that works. We should be able to wall check this guy quite easily. Use the wall heal next. Yep, I'll try to use that wall. I don't even know how much health it gives, like 100 health, or does it give only 50 health? Oh my goodness, I got attacked in the face. And let's try to restore my health. There we go. I was able to restore my health. Maybe you can activate this and fight some zombies and you'll be able to get more than 100 health. Maybe. Um, what's up here? Well, I'm glad we didn't have any spitters there. Did that dude just do the double attack? Yes, it did. The schmuck tricked me. Should be relatively easy-ish. I don't even see when they're attacking. What is going on? I'm gonna attack that scientist while I had the chance. Okay, we only have the screamer left. We should be able to get it. Bandages not stopping the bleeding effect is the biggest travesty of this game. Says Blit. Yep. It's unfair. It's nuts. Let's open this up. Let's heal up and let's deal with the boss. Should be doable. We have guns. Right? Shotguns. And will I have enough bandages though? I'm not sure. I'm scared. Somebody come pick me up. I need first aid kits. Didn't take the first aid kits. Okay, let's try to get some first aid kits and let's begin. Gonna get two stacks of those. I need to have my meds. For now, I'll use the bandages and then we'll see. Gonna eat so that I don't starve to death. Hey, wake up. So it's a normal mode carry on. It should be very simple. Shouldn't be... Nothing should be too difficult here, that's all I know. Yeah, just gotta keep blasting this guy and everything's gonna be fine. Okay, he didn't do any stomps yet. That's cool, I'm gonna replenish my bandages then. Oh wow, the guy has done zero stumps. I didn't have to basically do anything. Okay, that was the easiest boss. Sometimes he does those stumps and he needs to move away, so moving away with a Glock is kind of faster. Is it faster than a Glock and a shotgun? No, actually it's the same. Glock and shotgun have the same speeds. Okay, let's get the flight controller and that's kind of what you gotta do. You just clear A1 and A2 sectors. 
just as I've shown here, you can probably save a couple of first aid kits here and there, like do some more wall tricks here and there, just improvise. But you kind of do it like that and you'll be able to get this one flight controller. You can also proceed further. So we will proceed further through this B1 sector. Oh, action hero perk. Your weapons don't miss anymore. It's a good perk, but I don't have any weapons that miss anyway. So that perk is useless for us. It's good during the, the hard mode bunker, the hard mode lab. Zombies cannot heal anymore. It doesn't work on bosses. So those spitters won't heal. So do we get the disinfection perk? Or the other perk? Hmm. What do cats like on their cheeseburger? I have no idea. Cats don't eat cheeseburgers. Obviously. Change your name, Cyric. Why would I change it? Action hero and get some Uzis. What's action hero? I won't miss. Your weapons don't miss anymore, but it's a good perk. I don't need it right now. Reduces enemies health. Either that or the health that doesn't restore. Enemies attacks restore 10 to 25% of their health. So if I get this, zombies cannot heal anymore. So that means they won't heal. So if I get this perk and this perk, it cancel, cancels out everything. I guess we'll know. Just for the education. That's why I choose this perk. For bloody education, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what's up. Let's get another broken Glock. Refresh, bro. No. I refuse to refresh. This is a free-to-play account. How on earth are we going to refresh this? It's a free-to-play account, ladies and gentlemen. Free-to-play. So I just want to get hit in the face. No, they do not restore the health, so that works. Why did you decide to move all of a sudden? So I've never cleared B1 and B2 with melee weapons. But I'm pretty certain that B1 and B2 sectors are more difficult than A1 and A2 sectors. So just keep clearing those two sectors 10 times and you'll be able to get your drone. Can I get the saw blade mace? Can I hide here? Yes, I can. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Okay, we were, we're getting a little bit of damage, but that's all right. Not too much, though. Try to slow down one of those zombies. Maybe they'll be able to sync up. I don't think they synced up. The these Oh no, they did kind of sync up. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta get the Glock. Just wanna get the parasites. Why on earth this guy goes first in front of me? Stupid frozen bloater. Let me deal with the parasites first. Look, the parasites are dead. And now let's get that frozen stupid bloater. Had that broken Glock, I just wanted to break it fully. So why do cats like cheeseburgers? Because cats like... Mayonnaise and mustard. That's a good one. I haven't heard that one yet. What if cats don't like those things? What if they don't like mouse? Mice. Hmm. Waltrick is so dumb. That's all I have to say. Waltrick is dumb. 
Yes, but I made that dad joke up myself. Okay, so if you made that joke yourself, then it gives it gets many more points. Absolutely. There's a difference between coming up with your own joke and just taking it. So if you came up with this joke yourself, it's a 10 out of 10 joke. Absolutely. Definitely gets my approval. Oh my goodness, the dude gets faster. What is... What a schmuck. What is a burger? Burger is food. The armor's about to break, so let's probably get another armor as well. Mm, equipment. Let's get that. So I think for two floors, we need about two sets. For A1 and A2 floor. That stupid frozen bloater is going to go up here. I do not like that. Also, the toxic spewer does not restore the health anymore in those pits. So this was a nice spark. Wall trick. My favorite thing to do in the game. I said no one ever. Chicken burger or chicken sandwich? Isn't it the same thing? Isn't burger a sandwich? Heck, isn't pizza like a low-key sandwich? We still need 14 more A cards. 14 more! I still haven't cleared all of the rooms. There are many more boxes to open up. Ridiculous. Because you should always kind of get 50 A cards. But still... Okay, let's get ready. Let's open up this room. The frozen giant is bad. I don't know how much damage it does. It does a lot of damage. That's what I know about the frozen giant. It does a lot of damage. And I don't want to find out how much. Whoa! Oh, I have bandages. That's why I thought I healed up fully. And my health went red. I survived just by luck, basically. Wow, 81 damage. How do I let them come closer? There we go. Now they're synced. Cool. Cool. Do we need the rubber wires for the settlement? The rubber wires? Let's say rubber wire. Like those settlement wires? Then yes, you need those settlement wires. Okay, the head is just rolling. self-healing bruh I'm using the self-healing right now I just used it self-healing works like every five minutes the self-healing cult people it's a nice perk definitely we can use it like once every five minutes and I'd rather use the auto perk when I need it when I need to open up my inventory I can go and auto and do whatever kinda I'd rather do that. Let's open up this room. And let's see. What kind of abominations await us here? Okay, numb fast biter. Of course they're gonna move closer. Of course they all move in closer now. Stupid. Stupid. There we go. Now it works. The not getting stunned perk is actually huge. So it's not all about that agility perk. The agility perk is definitely nice. If you do not get the agility perk, you can still clear this place. You will have to use more healing items. But... It's still doable. Is bagel pizza or bagel or pizza? What? Is a bagel pizza a bagel or a pizza? I'm confused. What are you asking there? Pizza is not a bagel. Bagel is a bagel. Let's see. That's my answer. 
Pizza is not a bagel. Oh no, Parasite the scientist. I'm gonna leave this place before I freeze to death. Probably wall trick this guy, but I'm not gonna bother with just one scientist. Let's heal up again with more bandages. What's new with the update? So far, nothing. We just have different icon for the carrots. Okay, let's get these guys. Now, hopefully, I do not freeze to death. Just want to damage that numb fast biter as much as I can before the giant comes. I gotta heal up because it does 80 something damage. I'm gonna get the new armor set. So, yeah, so far, we don't have anything new in the update. Besides the carrots. But the new event starts tomorrow. The leprechauns event. It's like I'm at level 200 and I already maxed out my chest to level 11 all 40. Is that awesome? Uh, I smell lies. Not like I only smell lies, but I know you're lying. Like, I'm 100% sure you're lying. But welcome to the stream regardless, it's fine. Nobody likes liars, but that's fine. Okay, let's go up here. One of these rooms has another chest. I'm just not sure what room is it. That room or this room? Just ready to go through the door. There's no need to wait and think. Will I at least be able to sneak attack them once? Will I freeze to death in this room? I have no idea. Let's get back my machete. Yeah, let's use melee weapons while I can because the B2 floor will require guns. Uh, so we're doing 50% less damage with melee weapons. So gotta be careful with this exploder. As soon as it will explode and then it'll be trapped with those parasites. So... I kinda wanna be ready for that. Oh my god- Whoa, 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 whoa! I forgot that that dude is gonna punch me. Okay, those things will explode. I'll probably have to run around there and I'll get another shot. To the head from the frozen giant. That's alright, I'll heal up. And there are those parasites that I was able to kill fast enough. Nice. That was definitely a tricky roam. Very tricky. Should not have ran that way. Should have probably ran through the frozen thing. That would have been smarter. And I'm out of my melee weapons again. Let's try to get the katanas. We have a decent amount of katanas. Let's get those and let's use them. On our free to play account. Sorry, free to play, ladies and gentlemen. It is a little bit better. The the B1 and B2 sector is a little bit maybe easier, maybe not really, but it doesn't have those acid melters. And acid melters are kind of annoying. Unless I am mistaken it, it does have those acid melters. Okay, that was a lot of damage. I'm gonna get that numb fast biter. And now let's get the frozen bloater. So these guys are pretty easy with wall tricks. Is katana better than a machete? If your machete is not modded, then yes. But if you have a fully modded machete, then a fully modded machete is better than the katana. But regardless, katana is a good melee weapon. Regardless, if you're comparing it to a fully modded machete or not, it's a nice weapon. 
What's the new update? The carrots do uh, look different. The carrots look different. And the leprechauns event is going to start soon. Tomorrow. In a couple of hours, basically, from now. And what else are we going to get? The zombies are going to crawl out of here. And yeah, and on March 29th, we're going to get the Easter event. Let this guy come a little bit, a little bit closer. We've plus finished another task. We've progressed a little bit further through the season pass. Maybe B1 and B2 sectors aren't that bad. The boss at the B2 sector is going to be more tricky, though. It doesn't really look like maybe you need more melee weapons. It didn't count how many melee weapons we need for the B1 and B2 sector. I just always assume that B1 sector is, and B2 sector is a little bit more difficult. What if I just stand here? Will that work? Oh no, the Juggernaut is gonna be troublesome. Very troublesome. I'm gonna get the shotgun. Yeah, let's just get the thing and let's deal with the Juggernaut. Juggernaut's gonna be the fastest one anyways, and it does have a lot of armor and it'll be annoying. It'll be very fast, so it'll be very difficult to wall trick it, and especially when there are three zombies. Just good luck. Okay, now let's go here and it should be a lot easier to wall trick them here. doing it just join we're clearing the laboratory we're clearing the lab oh my goodness why did you punch me in the face Do they do more damage the less health they have? Maybe that's the debuff. Okay, let's get this thing just to heal up. Sadly, you can use this thing only once. Wish we could use it again and again. I usually bring 50 katanas. Sure. You're playing on the free-to-play. Yes, of course. As you can see in the top left corner, it says free-to-play. Why would it say free-to-play if it's not free-to-play? So, yes, it is free-to-play. Oh no, oh no. You know what? I'll deal with the scientist. We have the shotgun. And this guy cannot restore health because that's the perk that we've chose. Uh, that we've chosen. Nice. Wait, I'll wait here. <coughs> and I think we can go through this room. Whoa! Room full of schmucks. Of course, they're gonna damage me through that corner. Okay, let's gather all of them and let's see. Will we be able to wall trick them? Okay, at least I'll just separate them at least. That'll be better than nothing. Let's kill them that way and then let's separate the other two guys. By separate, I mean bring them a little bit closer. And they're synced, perfect. I'm serious to bring 50 katanas. It's a lot of katanas. They wouldn't fit in your inventory, but... Alright. Those B-rooms look tricky. Yep. In B-rooms, you just need a bit more guns. Sometimes, maybe. Like, if there's that Juggernaut, I'd just kill it with guns probably faster. It 
It doesn't really look like much, much more difficult, but again, I do have nice perks here. I was lucky to get the immunity stun perk. And we have the anti-healing perk. So the zombies cannot heal. So it's easier to kill the spitters. If this is your free to play, then how are your shotguns fully modded? You cannot mod shotguns as a free to play player. I'm a little bit confused. Could you please elaborate on that? I grinded. I grinded a lot. And here I am. Oh my goodness. Three more zombies. Should be easy peasy ish. Especially when we have the immunity to stun buff. How do they do 18 damage? How do I only do 18 damage? It's a lot more difficult to wall trick when there are three zombies at the same time, so just soak in a bit more damage. Deal with one zombie as fast as you can, then it'll be easier to wall trick them. And we did it. And we need to fill up the bio reactor. However, I won't be able to clear the B2 sector with melee weapons because we have the bad debuff. Melee weapons do 50% 50 uh, less damage, so we're just going to clear it with guns. Bog. Let's now go to the first floor. Let's get some seaweed, and let's start the generator. The bioreactor, whatever. I've never tried B-rooms, but seeing you do it makes me want to give it a go. Still nervous to go through there, though. I mean, just be ready. Have healing items and have guns and melee weapons. You, you're not going to lose your gear anyways. Your body spawns at the entrance near the elevator so everything's fine don't worry you left the crate i left it for later i will get those crates i will take the crate mm, let's get a couple of guns m16s more m16s yeah we'll just get these m16s and that's fine let's now modify all of them let's delete this old set and let's go deeper. Rate my name. One out of ten, sorry. Gods. Abortion. What? I'm confused. If you like the name, then it's a good name. If you don't like the name, then it is what it is. Not much. You can use melee weapons to B2 anyway. Uh, so there aren't many places to use melee weapons. At the B2 sector, understandable. Accidentally disconnected my account and deleted the game. Can I recover it, Sairi? Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, we've started it. So as you can see, we have this... Where's the... The threat thing? The enemies take 50% less damage from melee weapons. So that's sad. We have another action hero perk. Enemies with less than 25% of health take 175 times more damage from firearms. Enemies ignore you until you attack them or come too close. They may also not react to the neighbors being attacked. They may also... Do we choose this? I've never taken the friend or foe perk, but this perk seems kind of fine. When they're almost dead, I'll be able to do more damage to them. So that perk is... Alright, every perk is goop. <laughs> every perk is shit sustainedly. 
I don't know, I've never taken this part. Maybe I'll be able to sneak some of them with my melee weapon. But again, it doesn't really matter because I don't do enough damage. So let's get this executioner part. Because I do 50% less damage with melee weapons anyway. So why does it matter? Right. I am bleeding like a pig. 76 damage, and there we go. The dude's dead. Is this free to play, or you're trolling us? <laughs> Absolutely trolled. You might, right? <laughs> what a troll! What a troll! This is my free to play account. How much damage would I be doing with my katana? I just want to know. 11! It'll take forever. I just want to break this thing and that's it. The update is here. The update is here, but you cannot do anything. It's free to play level 209. You guys are talking as if you cannot be level 209 as a free to play player. Why didn't you get the pass perk? Because it wasn't there. Wait, was it? Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is the pass Cyric. Wait, let's go back. There we go. Where's the pass park, homie? Where's the pass park here? I don't see it. Is this the first park, the friend or foe? Is this the pass park? No, it isn't. The second park, action hero park. Is this the pass park? No, it isn't. And the executioner park. It's not the pass park either. So how could have I taken the pass park? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. New update is here, but there is a twist. Yep, but there is a twist. You can't really access the new update. That's not the title of today's live stream, though. It was the title for yesterday's live stream. Absolutely. The new update is here, but there is a twist. You can't access the new update. Why does it say Sark free to play at the top? Because I think it's fine. It says psych free to play. Free to play means free, not like free doesn't cost anything, but free like I am free to play. Like I'm free to go outside. I am free to play the game. So technically it ain't a lie. It's a different meaning of free. Do you have ATV on this account? Yes. Of course I have the ATV on this account. I grinded to get that ATV. Okay, let's try to get some food. Because we still don't have any food. Forced to pay. That's a good one as well. I like it. The F2P here stands for forced to pay. I was forced to pay for those ATV transmissions. Absolutely. There's the stupid delay with this guy. You have to. Stop moving. Oh, why am I wall tricking it when the wall trick? Actually, maybe it's fine. How much damage do I do? 18 damage with this. How much damage I'd be doing with my M16? 13. Yeah, forget it. Goodbye, Shambler. Free to play means fun to play. 
I don't even know what happens when I step. All oh, the the spores get activated. That's what's up. Okay, let's wait until they stop. Do these spores ever stop? Or is that it? I've activated these spores and they'll be activated forever now. I think that's what it means. I think these spores don't get deactivated. Yeah, I made a mistake. I made an oopsie, ladies and gentlemen. I should not have stepped on that laser. Yikes. Mistakes were made. But hey, we live, we learn. Except not Sire, Sire doesn't learn. I was born omnipotent. I know everything. Smash like, smash subscribe if you know everything too. Get an inhaler from your inbox. Perhaps that's a good idea, but here I am. Why there's this gas everywhere? Sick and tired. Well, the amount of damage they do is insane. How on earth am I losing that much health? I have only two more first aid kits. Let's heal up real quick. Let's get this. My armor is about to break and I have only four first aid kits. Let's get the fetid corpse. The exploder will pop. I'm going to go through here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That room was stupid. That's all I have to say. I should not have stepped in that laser. I stepped on it because I wanted to know what it does. Like, I knew that there has to be a room with those spores. I just wasn't sure that this is the room. There also has to be another room with, like, some sort of a laser going around. And if you touch it, it also releases spores. Or maybe I'm confused. In any case, let's get more first aid kits. Uh, let's get these. Plus, my armor is about to get destroyed. Let's get another set of armor. Let's get another M16. Let's heal up. How on earth is this M16 missing? You've gotta be kidding me. Oh no. frozen room. So this freezing thing only activates for a while. Okay, hopefully I did not freeze here. I'm just gonna run. And that's it. Do not want to freeze to death. I'm gonna open this up. There are no chests. The pass perk is here, but there is a twist. I'm confused. The pass perk is here, but there is no twist. The pass perk isn't here. I did not take the pass perk. There is no pass perk. Welcome to those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome, everybody. We are now clearing the laboratory. We started with just melee weapons. We've got into this B2 sector because why not? We have the laboratory event. But now we started using guns because the B2 sector has 50% melee debuff. So I can't really use melee weapons. Oh my goodness. At the very end, I've gotten that attack and now I'm bleeding. Disappointed. The bandages cannot stop bleeding. The first aid kits cannot stop bleeding. Which I'm pretty sure first aid kits have bandages inside of them. Just disappointed. That's all I have to say. Okay, let's try to get this. And let's deal with the slasher. Is the brain braining? It is kind of braining. Semi-braining, semi-not braining, I guess. Rewind the tape. What tape? No, 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 no! Stop it! Disgusting. I'm 
I'm gonna go through this door, either you want it or not. So, how did it attack me through the door? Through the door, ladies and gentlemen. Through the door. Get some food or be food. Let's go to the store, I guess. Let's buy the laboratory pack. For $5.99, you'll get one equalizer and 20 first aid kits. Oh, Lord. For $5.99, and plus it's with the promo. With 50% promo. Dude, that's robbery. Robbery in broad daylight. Six bucks, you get garbage. Uh, what is not garbage and what am I planning to get? I'm kind of confused. Oh, six bucks and you get garbage. Okay, I get it. I thought you're betting six bucks that I'll get garbage. I'm like, garbage from where? But you said like six bucks to get the SWAT armor. That's garbage, yep. Did you see the slasher run? Nope. I think they all look the same. I'm not sure if I have enough weapons for the last boss. So before we go back to that A2 sector, B2 sector, let's upgrade a couple of AKs. I want to get, I don't know, like let's say two AKs for the boss fight. It'll be better than nothing. Let's upgrade that. This is why I never clear B2 sectors unless I disable all the traps. Yeah, that room will be crazy. But I still want to go back to that room. So as I said many times already, the game is kind of like... It does have pay-to-win aspects. But like the guns aren't the pay-to-win aspect. You can pay six bucks to get an equalizer. Is it worth it though? It's up to you. Let's get another M16 and let's go back to the B2 sector. Oh, wait. So if you die, the thing resets? Oh, there's another laser here that I did. Oh, there are three lasers. I didn't see those. Sick. Absolutely sick. Can I use this thing again? Nope. Well, let's keep going. Let's not stop. Tell me your thoughts in a few words. I don't know. So this thing kills me instantly. Am I tripping? It does probably kill me instantly. And of course, there's the toxic spewer. Why would that? I'm stuck! Oh, it doesn't kill me instantly, probably. Maybe I'm just tripping. I want to know how much damage it does. Do I die instantly or not? I just want to know. I'm on full health here right now. It does kill me instantly. Well, now we know, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to know. It does 70-70 damage or something like that. It does a lot of damage. Maybe the closer you get to it, the more damage you get. In any case, don't step on it. That was just for education. I literally died there just for education to know what's up. And now you know, ladies and gentlemen. Who else is gonna teach you? Hmm? Exactly. Nobody. That's why I'm showing you what's up. I got scammed. This isn't free to play. This is free to play. What do you mean this isn't free to play? This is F2P. Forced to pay. Or what were the other ones? I don't know which ones we had there. Forced to pay. And something else. Teach us again, Sark. No, no, I'm not going to repeat that again. You paid money, says Vic. Did I? Do you have any proof that I paid money? Can you prove it? <sighs> I 
Average F to P last in Earth account. Yes, indeed. Average force to pay account. Let's run through these things. Don't freeze, don't freeze. We did not freeze. Okay, the toxic spitter came out of nowhere. Why on earth it didn't spawn before? Oh, that's fine. Let's get the AK and let's not die this time. Hopefully. this dude go 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 wait do I need to go inside of that room is there a spitter inside of it probably there is of course there's the acid melter why wouldn't there be an acid melter oh my goodness both of those acid melters Okay, now let's wait and let's deactivate this thing. Yeah, definitely this B room. The B sector is definitely more expensive than A1 and A2 sectors. I still probably suggest just clearing A1 and A2 sectors. Okay, they started going in another way. Does that make any sense? Oh, yes, it does because I had to go up. Okay. And why this room only had one zombie? Why didn't they add more zombies? Let's activate this. Okay, that thing is restoring my health. It doesn't restore the health infinitely then. If you disable the traps, the B sector is fine. Yep. Do you get profit? All the time. Every place we clear in this game is profit. If you want profit, you clear Bunker Alpha. That's it. That's all you gotta do. I haven't cleared the B room with the traps in like many months, probably a year. Since the lab came out, I don't think I've ever cleared the B sector without the traps. I always disable the traps. I've cleared this place once or twice. I saw that the traps are bad and I always disabled them. This is the first time that we kept those traps on. Sick. So what are we gonna do? Cannot do anything here. Wait, what if you come here and you have a grenade, for example? Can you lure those guys with a nade? Of course you're gonna get a stack of grenades, not just one. Why would you get just one? Alright, you cannot uh, throw the grenade there. Why would you be able to throw the nade, right? Why would you be able to throw the nade through here? Stupid. Everything is stupid. Will this work? Will I mess this up? Probably I will. How did it see me? I was hidden behind the thing! That is stupid. Man. That is so stupid. It's not even that bad anyways. Oh, they can shoot me through everywhere now. Cool. Will I be able to open up the room though? Let's deal with the screamer. As soon as you just show your face, they shoot you. Oh, that's it. We can just open that up. So we did use some um, first aid kits for it, but that's fine. Oh my goodness. Another room! Yeah, the B2 sector is garbage. Even when you disable the trap, that's, that's a lot of zombies here. 
Yeah, A1 and A2 sectors are definitely cheaper. New rules, spark is OP, yep. I brought these AKs for the boss fight, and yet I already used up these AKs. So that's not cool. Shaddy. I'll probably need more guns from the inbox to deal with that dude. Of course, a toxic darters here as well. It's not like we didn't have enough of those toxic darters in the transport hub. Now they're here. I mean, toxic darters appeared here first before the toxic before the transport hub, anyways. WB two sector. I changed my mind. I'll forget uh, doing the B rooms. Yep. If I ever grind laboratory on my free to play account, I'm definitely not clearing B1 and B2 sector. It's not worth it. They are too long. And at the end, there's still the boss. So let's fight the boss. We have this full AK, a shotgun. Do we need anything else? Just in case, let's get something. Like a VSS. Hell yeah, let's get a VSS. So we have a, an AK, a broken shotgun, another shotgun, and a VSS. Will that be enough? Not enough, maybe healing items? I just want to be ready. I don't want to die midway. Let's get one more VSS. Probably that'll be too many VSSs, but I, at least I'll have more VSSs at the base then. Okay, that's enough. We have the, the armor is about to break. Not modded? Yeah, yeah, the VSS is not modded. It's all right. I'll get another armor just in case. I'll dump this one at the end anyways. And I am ready. We've only gotten 28 B cards because I haven't looted a lot of other rooms. Yep. I'm ready, ladies and gents. Let's do it. Equalizer. We could get the equal. Do you need like Genesis weapons to kill the zombie? I don't even remember. I don't think so. I know you need Genesis weapons in the hard mode. Okay, 22 damage with this. 5 damage with the AK. Yeah, Genesis weapons would have been a lot better. Should have gotten the Genesis gun. I'm gonna die here right now. I'm gonna die. The dude is shredding me. Survived. Ladies and gentlemen. Survived. Yeah, I should have gotten Genesis weapons for this guy. Yeah, it's definitely not worth it, ladies and gentlemen. To get the flight controller from this guy, 100% not worth it. Take all of my words back. Whatever I said about the B1 and B2 sectors. And I, I always said that they're bad. The B1 sector was okay, but the B2 sector is just stupid. It's not worth it. Developers noted. Then to, you can only get the flight controller from the B2 sector. Where did I get that VSS? Profit, yep. Yeah, the B2 sector is horrible. Dude, I barely killed those scientists and I got more scientists. Whoa! At least that thing didn't kill me instantly. I'm glad about that. My armor is about to break. Hopefully it survives. I do not want to repeat this room again. Oh, that dude is dead. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it! We did it. And we've gotten another one of those flight controllers. Sick. So you can kill it with like what half of a neutralizer like a neutralizer and another gun plus you'll have some rest 
So you need two guns for this, dude. One Genesis weapon and another normal one for another, like zomb for for those other zombies. Plus some healing items. So I've only gotten 32 of those B cards. We need to go back and reload the other rooms to get the rest of those cards. Nuts. If you ask me. Let's get the shotties and let's loot a couple of those other rooms. Don't forget the janitor. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the reminder. Another reason to not be a scientist. I want to be a scientist. When I grow up, I want to be a scientist. Uh, you're paying for your internet, which is allowing you to play. So there for you paid to play according to my analysis. That's a good analysis, Vig Sig. That's a good analysis. If you play for your internet, you are pay to play. You are pay to win. Yes, I agree. I agree. 100%. You're also paying for the electricity, you paid for your phone, you paid for... Uh, yeah, you're paying for electricity, charge your phone, you are... Pay to win. Absolutely, okay, so A1 sector is fully cleared. Let's check the A2 sector. All of you are pay to win players. All of you. Okay, this room does not have a chest. I'm sure you can open up these rooms uh, nicely when you're sneaking, kinda, maybe. Okay, let's try to sneak here. Okay, couldn't sneak properly. At least only one of those scientists attacked me. You had to pay for your phone too? Yeah, I, just, I said that. You also had to pay for your phone. You need to be homeless for trophy to play. Yep. You need to have the phone. You need to find the phone. If you buy it, you're not true free to play. Was the event about it? We don't even know yet. It's not out yet. But you'll be able to spin the caps. Probably. Okay, this room is good. It has a chest. No, Mika Pico, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully everything's all right. And we have more chests here. I'm getting the event on the 16th, but I don't know what time. You're getting it on the 16th? It's coming out on 17th. It should be coming out soon in a couple of hours, I guess. Four or five hours from now. From now, I'd say. So I've only gotten one chest here. Where is another chest? I haven't looted everything. I'm pretty sure there will... One chest at the very entrance of this floor. So let's go around here. How big is your brain, Cyrate? What do you think? Look at all of this real estate. Pretty big. That's the answer. The brain is pretty big. Doesn't mean it's smart. It doesn't mean... Size doesn't mean... It's smart. Diam, says water bottle. It is diam indeed. I think I see the chest here in the top right corner, guys, on the map. You can see that there's like some sort of a weird pixel shining, peeping through. So let's deal with the toxic spewer. He unlocked the suburb that should tell you enough. Yep, guys, I have the suburbs. So the brain is big. Sometimes when I relax the head, it just like tilts to the side. Like, I constantly have to hold it. Like, you guys relax the head and your head will probably just float. As if it's filled with helium. For me, it's like it just tilts to the side if I relax it. Like, the, next, the, the neck is constantly under strain. It's under strain all the time. 
But I just decided to relax, like it just goes to the side and that's it, it's falling. So I have to put it back up. Wait, I've killed almost everybody and I still have only 48 A cards? Um, those three brain cells must be heavy. They are heavy indeed. That's it. I'm disappointed. Chest. What chest? I've looted all of the chests. There's nothing else that I haven't looted. You didn't kill the two ones in the server room. Yeah, apparently we have to kill them to get all the crates. To get all the cards. Should have gotten the pass park. <sighs> there was no pass park. I couldn't get the pass park. Do you understand that? It's the third time I probably explained that in English language. I couldn't get that pass park. It didn't exist. I couldn't get it. Unless I had skipped stuff, but I couldn't. Because I do not have enough coins. YouTube now has a zooming feature. You can zoom in Sark's brain as close as you want, says Rex. Yes, you can uh, zoom on mobile devices. I don't think you can zoom on PC, but you can definitely zoom on mobile. You can just zoom, 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 and you can zoom. Also, there's the annoying thing. Sometimes when you're watching a YouTube video, you can even zoom without going on landscape mode. Like, if you watch in portrait, you like, just zoom a bit, or you accidentally just like touch it or something, and then you won't be able to swipe the video down. So you just need to unzoom it. And it took me like a while to realize why I can't like swipe the video down. Because like you kind of just zoom in just a bit. Even though you don't realize that and you can't like swipe it down. And it's annoying. I can't be the only one that has encountered that. I'm gonna just explain to you what I'm talking about. Because why wouldn't I? I'm gonna open up Cyrix's video. The best YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen, Cyric. There we go. We have Happy Cyric here right now. Right? And, uh... Check this out. We have Happy Cyric. And you can swipe this down and whatever. But if you just accidentally, like, touch with two fingers. You just, like, kind of zoom in just a bit. It, obviously, I zoomed in too much. But let's try to zoom in not 1.2, but just a bit. Just like 1.1 and you won't really see that you zoomed in and I won't be able like to swipe the video down now anymore It doesn't allow me to do it. You have to unzoom it fully and now you can swipe it down It has happened to me many times and it took me a while to realize why what's the issue Sometimes you'll just touch with two fingers and it'll like kind of just zoom in just a bit And you won't even know that it's zoomed in and you won't be able to swipe it down That's it ladies and gentlemen Thanks for coming to my TED talk. We have 50 cards. That's enough. Let's go to the B sector Tech tips with Happy Cyrix. Subscribe. Yes, indeed. So am I the only one that has encountered that issue? I can't believe this. Do you guys even use YouTube? What phone is that? It's Sony Ericsson. At least Eric's son and not Eric's daughter, am I right? <laughs> Let's deal with the other zombies. That was a bad joke. It wasn't even funny. But I, I came up with it, so I think it's funny. Why use YouTube when you have LDOE? Yes, indeed. There we go, more of these cards. So that's the second chest already. Now we just have to get to the B sector, the B2 sector. Nice joke, is it any good? The Sony Ericsson is a good phone, I guess. I like it. It's a refurbished S21 Plus. Sorry, read my comments, says Thiago. I apologize, Thiago. Let's read what Thiago is saying. Where's Thiago? Uh, 
Thiago. Uh, how I get Happy Cyrex skin backpack? Sadly, you cannot get it. So the lasers here never disappear. Okay, cool. Beautiful, amazing. Sweet. So the lasers are always there. Hmm. Wait, will those turds be there as well? Oh no, the turds have been disabled, stupid turds. And I didn't find another room? I've looted this room for the cards, and where's the other room, ladies and gents? We have one more zombie, and I only have 37 B cards. I've looted everything in B1 sector. Did I loot everything in the B2 sector? In any case, I'm done. We've spent enough time in the laboratory, ladies and gents. You just missed one chest in the laser room. Wait, did I? Did I miss the chest in the laser room? We can get, like, what, eight cards? Seven cards? There are no chests in the laser room. There's nothing here. Maybe you need the pass perk. Without the pass perk, maybe you don't get 50 of those. In the corner, there's nothing here. I'm getting definitely bamboozled right now. Absolutely. Oh, in the corner here, I cannot open it up without the pass perk. Oh, there is one chest here. Let's open this up. Of course, there's the acid melter. I'm gonna die right now here. Because I didn't even bring the right guns. Yeah, just melt my armor. It's fine. I don't need it. I didn't want it anyways. Heal up. Wait, were we doing 52 damage with this neutralizer? Am I tripping? Oh, probably because it had less health. And we do like 1.75 more damage when the dude has less than 25% of health. That's it. Let's get out of this place alive. When do we raid happy? We are raiding right now. We are raiding right now. I do have actually a raid there. I have the revenge raid, so we are raiding very soon. As soon as I get back to the base. You left the room in B1. It's fine. I'm not going back there. It takes forever to loot those rooms. It's fine. Um... Um, I need to go outside to get the B-cards. Janitor. Yeah, we also gotta talk to that dude. Let's not forget about that. Let's get enough B-cards. Now let's get going. Hey, Sark, what are the best mercenaries in the settlement? Connor is the best uh, mercenary. Karma is a nice mercenary. Uh, there are some other mercenaries. Regardless, you need to level them up first. Like, what's better? A higher level mercenary is going to be stronger than whatever other mercenary. So they're all kind of good if you level them up high enough. But uh, but Connor is the best. Not really. Some mercenaries are better than the others, but Connor. Level him up. We've gotten here three guns and plus the hazmat armor. And we've gotten here three more guns and plus some SWAT armor. Let's bring that SWAT armor back to the base. Um, what else can I get? I did not get the caps. I want to get those caps. I'm sad to leave these cogwheels because what if the helicopter comes out and I need a bunch of those cogwheels, right? How am I going to assemble my helicopter? So that'll be kind of disappointing. But hey, let's get the nades and the robber probably. Maybe we'll also need that robber for the helicopter. Oh, and the... And the janitor. 
I'm gonna drop one seaweed. More seaweed, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna drop the seaweed here just to grow it. Let's keep that secret between us both. And now let's talk to the janitor. It's like, do you know about the carrot dispenser? Carrot dispenser? What's a carrot dispenser? What's a carrot dispenser? I'm very confused. The heli is the end goal? Uh, the end goal of life, maybe. Because the helicopter is not out yet. I like how I say the word yet. The helicopter is not out yet, as if it'll ever come out, ladies and gentlemen. Wake up, sheeple. The helicopter is not coming out. Just broke your hopes and dreams. Maybe it is coming out. Who knows, maybe the helicopter is actually coming out. Okay, let's get more loot. So we've grinded for quite a while and I've barely leveled up to level 30 here, which is kind of easy to level up. It's more difficult to level up past level 60. So even during this, these easy levels, I've barely leveled up to level 30. In any case, let's get back to the base. Let's drop off the loot and let's uh, raid the base. How did you upgrade that storage? By doing the hard mode laboratory, you give the items to the person there and they upgrade the storage. Watch Kefir release it and not give you access to it. So that everybody will be able to go to the helicopter, but not me. What? We lived four years without helicopter. We can live four more without it. Kefir logic. We actually lived over six years without the helicopter. Back in my days, we didn't have any helicopters. Back in my days, there were no helicopters. Why would you need a helicopter now? I was raised with no helicopters. We don't need no helicopters. Forget about helicopters. Press on the tool icon in the middle right. Press on the tool icon in the middle right. Okay, this thing is a lot faster, I guess. And what, there's a carrot dispenser? Like, why, why do I have to click on it? Like, what's going on? I am very confused, like, do I, what am I doing here? I clicked on that button, but what's, what's the point? Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to s uh, Sorting Out Simulator. In today's episode, we are sorting out this garbage. As soon as we are done sorting this out, we have a raid outside, so we're gonna do that raid. Soon. Okay, the factory parts. You also have a piss bottle? Yes, I have the piss bottle. The piss bottle is here and it has... It has been changed. It looks a little bit different now. Cool. To find the carrot dispenser is locked, uh, though. Maybe we can get it through the leprechaun event. Carrot dispenser. What carrot dispenser are you talking about? I don't understand. If there will be a carrot dispenser, it'll be not through the Leprechaun's event. It'll be during the other event, during the Easter's event. Why is it written Psyric for you to play? Because I was forced to pay. Psyric forced to pay. Let's hop here. And now the brain is not braining that much. We are done. Is my chopper empty? I think it is. The carrot dispenser in the VIP. Where there is the carrot dispenser in the VIP. 
And we have a raid outside. Let's just do the raid, ladies and gentlemen. Let's forget those carrot dispensers. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're lying to me. You're using and abusing me. So, I'll pretend that didn't happen. I'm just gonna go and do the raid. How about that? Four and four, and that's it. We don't have enough nails. Oh, Lord. Let's try to get some more nails, because the more nails, the better. I kind of ran out of them. So let's start getting more of those nails. Wait, I should have gotten just the entire two stacks. That's better. There we go, now we have enough nails. Let's craft another uh, iron hatchet. Born to be a last, last iron earth helicopter pilot. Yeah, some people are born to be lawyers, doctors, brain surgeons. I was born to be a last iron earth helicopter pilot. That's me. I was born to play last day on earth, ladies and gentlemen. Are you happy for me? Over my six years, basically my entire adulthood life, I've spent grinding in last day on earth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bug. Mm. Let's get the... Listen, as long as it's fun, then do it. It's very fun. I'm having an enormous amount of fun right now. I've just cleared the laboratory. I got nothing. Hell yeah. Life well lived. When I'll be on my deathbed... Some people say that, hey, when you're on your deathbed, you'll be thinking that, hey, you should have spent more time with your loved ones and other stuff. And I think it's all a lie. When I'll be on my deathbed, I'll be thinking, damn, I wish I cleared Bunker Alpha more times. I wish I had more free play accounts. Wish I had gotten more ash trees or something. Those will be my regrets. So that's why I grind. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I play last and non-stop. I don't want to have any regrets when I'm on my deathbed. <laughs> so, uh, he's having so much fun, he started to lose his hair. I'm not losing my hair. Even if I was losing my hair, there's nothing wrong with losing your hair, right? It is what it is. But I'm not losing my hair! It's fine, guys. It's fine. I'm not losing my hair. Elder Ye Raid. Player 8003. Hell yeah, this raid is sick! Let's go. The hair migrated to the chin. It did migrate to the chin. <laughs> it's still there. It's still got hair. A little bit. But I have it. Wait, it's even worse. Oh no, it's not actually worse. It's the same. I thought that said we only have that one chest. I thought I'm absolutely bamboozled. Could have been worse. We have like, what, four, seven chests? Let's see if we can get anything useful. So you might be like, oh, sorry, look at this. We've gotten some used armor. That's what they've stolen from me. This is the revenge raid. A revenge raid. And these are my items. This base has nothing practically. But my items, that's my spear! These are my SWAT armor things, so this base has nothing of its own. That's all of my loot. 
That's mine as well. I'm sure about it. Probably mine as well. Joe Gesser today? N don't think so. Bestest loot ever. Yep. Loot of the time. One of the loots. And... Okay, we've gotten something better. We've gotten the flare gun, which is kind of nerfed. Used to be better, but after the New Year's update, it became kind of nerfed. We've gotten two more sets of SWAT armors, which is great, but where am I going to store that? But that's fine. There's the problem for another day. We're going to open this up. And nothing inside of this chest. That's... Two waves of zombies. How about I open this up? My health is going down. Heal up. And nothing here besides that one bottle of water. And that's new bottle of water, ladies and gentlemen. Because it has different texture. What? Two katanas. Uh, machetes. Let's get them. One stream I missed. One stream and Joe Gesser is back. And I missed the tea about the new update. What do you mean Joe Gesser is back? Joe Gesser is not back. Joe Gesser is not back, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody brought back Joe Gesser. Joe Gesser is paid to win, and I am a free-to-play player. I can't play Joe Gesser. And where do I store armor? What if we force you to pay? I don't want to play Joe Gesser. That's about... It does the answer. I'm not too excited to grind Joe Gesser. Joe Gesser is over. We, uh, we're stuck with the cube game now. Says Wardy. Well, don't worry. There will be no cube game today either. Thanks to Wardy. If you don't like the cube game, there is no cube game either. That's it. No more cube game. No more Joe Gesser. There's like 60 bucks worth of stuff if you bought it in the store. Yeah, except nobody buys armor in the store. No chess, please. Don't worry, there will be no chess either. You know why? Because we are buckling up, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want cubes. You don't want anything. You don't want chess. We are wrapping it up. Thanks, everybody, for being here. See you tomorrow with another video. Actually, tomorrow there will be another live stream, probably. Or maybe a video. We're going to check out this uh, Leprechauns event. I'm very happy. I cannot wait to spin the caps. That will be amazing, ladies and gentlemen. It will be phenomenal. Cannot wait to spin some caps tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for being here. See you later, alligators. What about karaoke? No karaoke. No thing. Did you touch the table? I did touch the table. What's wrong with the table? Do you like Forsen? I have no idea what is Forsen. I haven't heard of Forsen. What I've heard are uh, what I've heard of though is beside. Oh, you, did, you don't even see. But yeah, guys, we'll have this Leprechauns event, and I cannot wait to spin cabs there. It'll be absolutely phenomenal. And on that note, we're going to be buckling up. So thanks, everybody, for being here. See you tomorrow with that Leprechauns event. Uh, very excited to do the Leprechauns event. And peace out, ladies and gents. Tomorrow, same time, same channel, same Cyric. But different events. We're going to have the Leprechaun event where we can spin the caps. Hell yeah. Take care and peace out. Shout out to all of you. Take care and peace out. Peace out, guys. Take care.